It's your favorite tech trainer, Bren Brewer, and I'm coming to you today with a short little video about how to do your email signature with a photo. If you've seen mine, um, you'll know what I'm talking about. But we're going to jump right in. We're going to go ahead and log in to command. That's going to be agent.kw.com. And this is my dashboard. I'm going to come all the way over here and go to designs. move my face over there and click this turquoise plus button and it doesn't really matter what you press just so any of these will do and you just click next and then that's gonna redirect us to our designing page and we're gonna come over here on the left hand side and click on business basics and email signatures and if you've seen mine this is the one I have so I'm gonna click use and as you can see this is just a basic template I do not like this little line here into the picture so I'm gonna scoot it over I am going to click this guy and hover over my photo and then I'm going to click this little round arrow that says replace image and boom my picture goes right in there I'm going to leave the word realtor I am going to double click in here and type my name I am going to double click in there and type my license number change my oh, I messed up so I'm just gonna click undo double click in here I always forget to turn my phone off y'all when I'm recording a video sorry about that and I also can't type today but it's Friday If you need to know where to get the link for your app, I want you to just go back into command, click on your settings, take you to this page, click on your connect settings and your marketing profile, scroll all the way to the bottom, move my face over here, and this is your branded app link. So copy that go back over to where you were editing put my face back over here and we will paste that actually I only need those last letters let's do that again and I am going to highlight the last letters that says your app and then I'm going to right click and click paste. Oh, it's not working. All right, what is my letters? KW10RCLP. And yours will be different. Don't, don't use mine. All right, I've got everything in here. Let me make sure my address is right. 22762, sweet 420, not 410. I guess I maybe should type that out. There we go. And then I'm going to make this box just a little longer so it's all on one line. And then, oh, I gotta switch that out. So all I'm gonna do here is click this replace logo button under my assets. Oop, and I don't like this one uh, because it blends into the red, but I will move it over here. But I'm gonna go back over here. Um, I'm going to go into images and where I've added my own should come up here and I am, nope, I'm going to add this one. I'm going to click replace or I'm not. Nope. Just click delete there. I'm going to 
resize this a little bit. I love it. It looks awesome. Looks really good. Everything, all this information looks good. Oh, no, it's not. I have to go change all my phone numbers. Let's change that now. Need to do, I'm gonna go back over to logos and my assets and I am going, oops. I'm gonna add my photo that y'all all know me by instead of my professional one. trying to do it the way it's supposed to be done. All right, well, maybe it's not going to work. All right, well, whatever. We'll just leave this picture and not this one. All right, we are done. I've got my logo, I've got my name, I've got my realtor. If you have any designations, you can put them on there as well. I've got my phone number, office number, my email, my website, and you need to put on here that each office is independently owned and operated and I have my app link. Once you have all that, I want you to come up here and name it. And then you can click enter or press enter and then click download. You can do it as a JPEG or a PNG. I would suggest either one it doesn't really matter but not a PDF because you cannot put this in your email signature as a PDF so either one of these Google will accept I'm gonna download them both just to be sure you can also do thumbnails web and mobile downloads but right now I'm gonna just click start download for the JPEG You can see it's processing it says ready it should pop up a box that uh, I'm gonna just put this on my desktop and I'm gonna say brand email signature and I'm gonna put and then this one is a JPEG so I'm gonna click save and then I'm gonna go ahead and download the PNG just in case I need it I'm gonna click start download you can see up here it's preparing and now the downloads ready dialog box pops up I'm gonna say Bryn signature and it is, is a PNG image I'm gonna click save now we have that saved I want you to go over to your Gmail so you need to go to google.com and click Gmail and in your settings right here the gear in the top right corner and then see all settings and then once you get here you're gonna scroll down to your signature and where you have this see I have this here we just remove it right now I'm gonna click this put your cursor where you want to insert the photo click this little gray box with some white mountains in it and it says insert image so I'm gonna click that I'm going to go to my upload uh, tab I'm gonna click select a file to click where I saved and either one of these is going to work so I'm gonna click the one that I want my PNG or my JPEG works because both of those work with Google and now I have gotten that in there you can keep it your original size you can do a small which would be real tiny a medium a large or original which is much larger I think I'm just gonna do mine large and then I'm going to got that in there it looks great I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna click save changes and now when you go to compose an email your signature will be in there hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions in the comments below talk to you real soon if you want more videos like this one don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.